Hello everybody, my name is Swicey and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be on my main account I'm going to be showcasing you guys for Gash. Now I know Grim Reaper uploaded a video on him a couple days ago, but that doesn't really matter to me. Um, I've been planning on doing a video on him for a while as he's one of my best built nukers and I just love this champion. He's by far my favorite defensive nuker outside of like obviously Harima, but I don't have her and he really is just so amazing. So let's go ahead and take a look at this kit before anything. His A1 is a double hitter, places increased defense on this champion. Uh, book it up to four times, getting 20% damage. His A2 is an AoE, has a 75% chance, booking up to 100 of placing a decreased defense. Uh, debuff on all champions before attacking. Also has a 100% when booked. Uh, Play it, chance of placing a stun for one turn after attacking. This books down to a three turn, starts as a four turn. Pretty amazing skill. His A3 is places a big strength and buff and a big speed buff on all allies for two turns. Also places a perfect fail on this champion for two turns. Uh, this starts as a six turn, can book down to a four turn, and this passive at the start of each turn places a perfect veil for one turn on the ally with the highest attack, inflicts 20% more damage against targets whose defense is lower than this champion's defense. Also has a 30% defense aura in all battles, which is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and check out my Ragash. He has a 3-star soul, which gives him that defense. He's plus 1. Uh, what is he looking like? 1. He is an lethal and 4-piece stun skin. He is at 6.1k attack, 225 speed, 100% crit rate, 275 crit damage, 271 accuracy. He is almost fully booked, as you guys saw, only missing one on the A3, which I don't tend to use all that much, but every now and then I'll use it. I currently have him in Soul Reap, just because every now and then his A1 doesn't fully clean up, but that will finish off the job. Um, and these are the masteries I have on him right now. Honestly, I think they could be changed, but I'm not too I'm not upset with them. I would say that Cycle of Violence would be nice, though. Outside of that, pretty solid masteries, and I would definitely recommend similar ones. All right, let's go ahead, take him into the, uh, maybe I go live arena just so I can show him off one time before we actually get into arena, uh, simply because live arena is only here for a few more minutes, and uh, it's a little bit hard for me to record during live arena times currently. So let's try to get ourselves the best setup we can to throw in our gash. We're going to be looking at a Padraig. Um, okay, actually... Not a bad time to be going for Ragash here. Uh, we want to make sure that we have some way to deal with Narcis, which really is just a speed team anyway. So we're going to go Padraig and I want to say Wukong uh, just for that speed lead to secure ourselves that because we really don't want to be going with Duchess at all. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and lock this in. We do want to be focusing more on Ragash than the Wukong here, uh, but we need somebody else, to, well, because it's Live Arena. Nice stars on that Siffy, decent on the Narcis, better than mine. Okay, not what we want to see exactly. I'm thinking my best shot might be bringing in a Tormund, uh, but we're going to go for trying to outspeed here and see if we can win. We're going to have to ban that Crixia for sure, or we're going to have to go ahead and ban the Siffy and then ally attack immediately straight into that Crixia. Okay. Yeah, it looks like siffy has got to go, and we're going to just hope to take out that Crixia. All right, get our speed lead. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we're only going to do one live arena fight, one because they take a really long time, and two, uh, there's probably not all that much time for too many fights. Ooh, okay. See, now that's pretty unfortunate. Uh, we're going to see if we can get my Wukong to take a turn. There we go, awesome. Took him out, uh, but really that... 
it's not too ideal as that's going to happen. Uh, let's go ahead and ally attack into that. Oh shoot, I forgot how he works. I am not the not of the most brain function with that move right there. Holy crap, that is completely on me. Do not take that out on the champions. Um, I'm going to pause here and skip ahead to a new fight uh, because this is not going to work out. All right, we are back to a fight, guys. Uh, hopefully, this will go much better than the last one. Already looking up for me. Uh, let's just hop right back in with the same opener. Uh, but more this time, we're going to grab Narcis as to not have to deal with somebody else having him. I kind of forget how insane he is when I'm not getting to use him. Uh, so we're going to grab him and then hopefully just pick her up and him up. I love seeing the bombs against my Ancora as her build is pretty great. And without an increased accuracy champion, most bomb champs can't really touch my Ancora. Hopefully we don't see a Lady Kimmy here. That would be pretty unfortunate because we'd be forced to ban her. Uh, right now I want to ban the Ostrid, uh, but we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, Ragash is loving this matchup right now. I imagine this is going to be a full stone skin bomb team. Um, and with that being said, uh, we don't want to deal with Astrolith as hers aren't resistible. Mm -hmm. Ooh, went with the ban. Okay. So, with Ancora being gone, we're really focusing on our nukers here. I'm going to try not to let Narcisse take the spotlight. Oh, faster. How is that even possible? My, uh... My Padraig is, is almost 400-some speed. Okay. Well, this isn't the best uh, situation. Actually, he's amazing, and it doesn't matter. All right. Love to see it. Okay, we're just going to block her vibe. Oh, we don't even get to block her vibe. We're just going to take Wukong out. Uh, we, don't want, we don't want him to just take all the spotlight here. Ragash does have his increased defense, and there we go. Hundreds across the board, pretty awesome stuff. Uh, big fan of Ragash, guys, as you already know since I'm making this video. Um, but I guess we're gonna pause again so I can get a little bit higher in arena, um, and then we'll show them there. Alrighty, guys, I found my first couple of decent teams here. Uh, now, I'm not saying they're the best teams in the world, but if we look here, this one with the Crixia, this one here, and then um either uh, well, since they're level 90 i'll avoid them uh this one here doesn't seem bad either uh so we're gonna knock out these three and then move on from there let's go ahead and throw in a proper team for our boy ragash uh, so there is ragash then we need our oh it's not sorted properly one second by tags uh, then we want him Armands and really anybody else will be fine. Let's just throw in Ancora for the sake of it. Generally accessible team, at least as accessible as a team is going to get for me to showcase it. Okay, this guy did not know how to build his champs. That is, uh, it's not exactly surprising, I guess. 16 million power. It's either really, really really hit or miss let's go ahead and see this nuke 82k not awful not the best um yeah not the best hit for hitting a candrophon exactly uh, but he's really really good into harima he's really good into any like stall type teams uh so once we get around to finding some of those we'll really get to show his uh, his uniqueness now, something amazing about him is he can set himself up. Uh, you don't need the Padrig to make him work. Uh, a lot of people will use an ally attack champion, which is a pretty good strategy for taking out, uh, for taking out these 
these these teams with Ragash because Ragash does give himself that increased defense, uh, which is definitely awesome. Uh, now we're going to ally attack into the Rotos as to hopefully knock him out. There we go. All right, we did get resisted, which kind of sucks. If you do want to use him for his uh, for his decreased defense and his stuns, you do definitely need a decent bit of accuracy anymore. Uh, but even then, still some really, really solid hits. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Uh, let's take out let's take out him. Let's take out her. Throw in Uko. And uh, who else do we want to throw in? I'm just trying to mix it up a little bit so you guys are getting at least a little bit of variety. Uh, let's throw in Cardiel. He's not in the best build in the world, uh, but... I think he'll at least show the whole ally attacking side of things, even though we made the same mistake of ally attacking into a uh, into a Narcissus earlier, which was pretty sad. And we can't really do anything with this team yet, so we just gotta wait, see if we can get rid of any of their buffs. Did a lot of stuff there. That's pretty big. Let's see if we can knock out her. Alright, there we go. Awesome. love seeing some unique teams there we go what was that uh, 154k ish i believe with the rev 5 ally attack into ancora we don't want to deal with her there we go knock them out cardiel doing some damage there all right I'm going to go ahead and pause and then take us to the next set of fights that I think are good enough for even showing on the video. Alright guys, so we found our next set of pretty solid teams here. Uh, maybe not the perfect team comp, but some decent builds, um, some decent champions for sure. Let's go ahead and see what Ragash can do. So with this team, what we're actually going to do is we're going to just take him in, um, and then we want to focus more on the shields, playing off the shields, some of the resistance, um, and then really we can focus on, let's just say, taking the hit off the fully with EDK. Now we have stone skin, some big shields, even if we get stripped, some really good accuracy on her. Uh, it won't really matter. He can't do any damage with the setup we have going on. Let's see the nuke. 66, 197. Um, overall, solid, solid damage there. Uh, we really love to see it. And then he goes back in. That wasn't even with increased defense. Do keep that in mind. Um, let's go to this one. This one is really um, not the perfect team, but some really solid champs here. Uh, we'll even just throw in say and Quora with the Ragash and Padrig and call it there. So another one where Crixia is in her stone skin. Take him out, one shot him. Go for the nuke. We did get reset. Getting some bad RNG as I just fully booked out my Ancora here. Alright, there we go. Counterattack and we took them out. Um, there's nothing else here all that interesting. I'm going to pause, find some more. Alright, we found our next uh, really, really strong set of teams here. This one's pretty strong. Uh, should be yeah, some really high player power. Uh, this one's pretty insane. And then this one looks to be pretty strong too. 36 million is crazy. Okay, actually, what is his? 28. All right. Well, let's go ahead and give it a go. So we want to bring it. We're going to Armand's crutch our way through this fight as it really is an insane fight to be taking. Um, and then, yeah, I almost am going to say no Padrig and then let... I guess that would just be a Narciss review at that point. Let's try it with this team. Sticking with the Ancora. Uh, just trying to be as accessible as possible. Um, here, 
we're going to try to go ahead and uh, steal the turn meter off of oh gosh oh yeah i forgot about that okay um with this one some really strong builds here holy might end up being a mistake taking them on with this specific team um okay some really good resistance that i'm seeing on these guys holy all right let's continue attacking see if we can steal any turn meter we did steal it but wasn't able to do much oh okay that's a little weird interaction there reset let's go back in um all right there he's gone I really don't want to see what this Taras can do. I want to get rid of one of his buffs at least. Alright, there we go. Back under control. I want to say we just want to ally attack into this Rumichka right now. Get her... Yeah, okay. A1s. Alright, now we're getting to see Ragash popping out some really, really solid damage. Um, Alright, he's going to get smacked. Alright. I don't want to... I kind of have to, though. So they're all back in the fight. Um, decently low on the HPs and things, but yeah. They're not going to get to do too much with the zero buffs. Take out that Taras. Take out this Taras. And then we take out the Aislinn. I mean, not the fastest fight, but considering the champions that we're fighting, that was a really solid uh, team to take up right there. Um, not too many nukers going to do... Take, take on to Ross that efficiently. Uh, and that's definitely a big upside to having Ragash in here instead of, let's say, let's say a Queen Eva. Is really, we're not getting screwed over by the Taras passive nearly as much as you would on a different type of nuker. All right, let's take on this team. Now, this team isn't too crazy. The only issue that we're going to see is if they have the proper AI setup, if they're faster. Um, if they're not faster, it's not a problem at all. We don't really care. All right. So, since they weren't faster, they weren't scary, and the fight is basically over at this point. Ally attack in to make sure we can just one-shot him. 64k. These are some crazy numbers. Considering what we're, I mean, we're using an A1 off an ally attack... Not that the ally attack makes it any less impressive, it's just, it's an A1 into a UDK. And don't get me wrong guys, I'm not trying to say I have the strongest build ever on Ragash. I definitely have a strong Ragash, but it's nothing, it's nothing that you would never see again. Is there any other teams here that really, really impress me? Um, this guy had really, really high power, let's just give it a go. And I don't see a world where his builds win unless he has some good stone skin on that uh, on that Baron there. Let's see. High resistance, not really. Let's see the resistance here. No resistance. Wasn't resistance on her either. Okay, I mean, at least enough to resist her gash, but didn't really matter. Took him out. And I think that's a good enough showcase, guys, at least in Arena. Um, now, I'm going to do a quick little showcase of him in Hydra, as he is an amazing Hydra champion, as, as well as the Arena side of things. So there we go, knocked him out. Let's head on over to Hydra, where I have used a key already, didn't get the most insane damage ever uh, this was the team i cut it early just because i ran out of time uh, but this is my main team here taking up some of my best champions uh, let's go to brutal uh, where this is what i have been testing uh, but ragash is 
he's going to do really well in Hydra. More on the normal and hard side of things, but he can hold his own in the brutal side of things as well. Uh, so with him, what he's going to be bringing us is decreased defense, uh, strengthen, and increased speed, as well as a veil on our person with the highest attack. So if you're using, uh, let's say, an Acrisia that you throw some attack into, he's going to really, really help you out. Uh, for this for the sake of this showcase, we're going to go ahead and use Varl, as Varl is amazing, brings the other side of what we need for damage, which is the Weaken, and he's going to be bringing uh, some decreased attack as well. Let it, making sure that he doesn't get screwed over by Torment is pretty awesome, and something that I don't think people really think about all that much when, when they're looking at Hydra. I think Ragash is a little bit overlooked. Um, now, with those two in place, what we need, well, we need a block buffs, we need a provoke, we need a, possibly a reviver, uh, we need some speed control, um, and so let's think here. I'm going to go ahead and pause, bring back a team, uh, and I'll explain it all when I get there. All right, guys, so the team I threw together, we have Nekomo, Varro, Contra, um, we have Gash, Ninja, and Duchess. Uh, so what's going to go on with this team is you... I mean, Duchess is known for being a decent torment counter, but part of her issue is that this is going to fall off before she can get it back up again. Uh, what Ragash is going to do is he's going to bring the uh, Veil for both himself and Varl, making sure that Decreased Defense and Weaken is both out there regardless, even if it isn't up from our Duchess. Um, th from there, our ninja gives himself the perfect veil, and that just leaves these two to not having it, uh, but them two should be bringing decent control outside of the torment head, even when they do have it, if I just play it right, should be fine. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, run the team, and then we're going to see what we end out with at the end. I'm going to actually use this key as my real key for brutal for this rotation. Uh, so hopefully that shows you guys that I really do think he's good enough for this. So I'll be right back as soon as I get done with the run. Alrighty guys, so the, the run ended really early, but I personally don't have the time to rerun this this week, uh, so we're going to take it. Um, you can see Ragash didn't do insane damage. Now do keep in mind, he's doing uh, 19 mil without, having a, without putting out Hex, um, without putting out an HP burn, without putting out any of those effects he doesn't have a ramping ability like varl like i mentioned he doesn't ramp and he also doesn't put it on hp burn like ninja uh, necmo has a hex set on uh, so a lot almost all of his damage is coming from there so do keep all of these things in mind he did make sure the run lasted a lot longer than it would have otherwise um actually what happened was he uh he he got eaten and then that was basically the end of the run because his strengthen and things really helped the run stay alive his uh veils and things kept it going uh, but 115 mil isn't isn't awful uh we're gonna take it and i'm gonna be revising this team because you know i actually really really like uh, Ragash in this team. Uh, so I'm going to be probably rebuilding Contra to get her in Relentless uh, because if it wasn't for the uh, head that needs Provoked, we would have had this run going on a lot, a lot longer uh, because Varl wouldn't have, I mean, um, Ragash wouldn't have gotten completely swallowed. So yeah, uh, really solid run here, really happy with the result, and Ragash did his job and did it really amazing to the point where I'm definitely going to keep running this team and improving upon it, um, probably all the way up until I get Makage. Um, once I get Makage, she'll probably replace him, uh, but yeah some really solid stuff there uh happy with that i believe that puts me where does that put me oh what oh okay so it'll put me just a bit over a billion not awful i'll i'll take it for sure and that's that's that guys i mean really we don't have the skinwalker faction crypt for me to show you it there uh there is a bit of a variation you could do with my current 
team inside of Fire Knight and run it at stage 6 or lower with Ragash in place of Foley. Uh, now, it isn't my favorite thing to do, really, and it doesn't it isn't a perfect run by any means. Um, but if we open here and then do nothing there, we could actually... I believe stage 5 was the most consistent with it, just because stage 6 is just like that little jump. Uh, but because he only has a double hitter A1, if you had Phantom Touch on him, uh, that would help out a lot. Uh, but let's go ahead and run one run. I'll throw it on Super Raids, because I mean, I'm sure it's going gonna, it's gonna to win. Um, what he does for this is he's going to be putting out the decreased defense before he hits. And with that weekend, he basically one shots like most of the wave, which is really, really nice. A lot of what happens in Fire Knight Hard, or really any hard dungeon, is without like a seer or something, you're going to be spending a lot of time in these waves. And Ragash is going to come in, do a lot of work for you, and overall, he, it's really nice to have. If you guys do have Ragash and you're not utilizing him, I highly recommend checking out where you could be using him. He's amazing. Very, very big fan of him. You can see right there, just one shots that wave, and now we're on to the boss. 40 seconds in isn't the best, but isn't the worst. Here, well, I mean, it's only 10 hits, it's not that great. Um, I do believe, yeah, Newt's a bit faster than him, so if you were to be speed tuning this team yourself, I'd definitely switch up a few of the AI settings here, uh, but you get the idea. Uh, we also could take Ragash off of using his A1 first. That would make this faster. Uh, that would make it much more consistent, uh, considering we get that decreased defense out there uh, when we're not doing that otherwise. So there we go. You can see the insane damage boost that we get purely based off of putting that out there. Um, and that's something that I wish Foley had a bit better, was his decreased defense being more consistent. If his was more consistent, my run on hard 10 would be 100%. Uh, or as close as you can get but yeah there we go he did more damage than newt uh 139 probably would have been about 150 eh, maybe 120 one uh 125 if he would have used his decreased defense to begin with uh, but yeah you guys can see he's an amazing champion somebody you should definitely look into using if you guys did enjoy this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button um, if you guys would like to see any more content like this please do let me know if you're not already in the takeover giveaway go ahead and check that out if you'd like to see some more options of takeovers and things or get more involved in the community feel free to join my discord through the link in the description uh there you'll find like i mentioned takeovers account work you'll also find an amazing community of people who are more than happy to help out in any questions or problems you're having within the game anyways thank you guys again for watching i'll see you on the next one peace out